Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to make the cinnamon tree Christmas ornament, which you can see here in the photo before you. I also have a couple of my sample ones worked. These are very easy to make, very quick and uh, cute when they're hanging up on your Christmas tree. So today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of this dishy cotton by Knit Picks when we crochet. It's a 100% worsted weight cotton. You're only going to need about 20 to 30 yards per Christmas tree. And uh, it comes in a variety of colors. I'm using the uh, swan color today in the tutorial and this green is the Douglas fir color. Uh, if you would like, you're also going to need some assorted beads as well as a cinnamon stick which is going to form your tree trunk and uh, also a stitch marker yarn needle for weaving in ends and today we'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook either one or an e4 crochet hook the free written instructions can be found on my website at ridgetexturescrochet.com and there's a direct link to that in the description of this video so thank you so much for joining me, and uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are many other Christmas tree ornaments here on this channel, as well as other great patterns for yourself and your home. So again, thank you for joining me. Just one more thing before we get started. I forgot to mention you're also going to need some hot glue or some tacky glue uh, to insert the cinnamon stick into your tree. For this design. So we're going to start, this pattern is worked in rounds and it's worked in continuous rounds so you're going to need your stitch marker handy. You're going to start by making a magic ring or by chaining two and working into the second chain from your hook. So to make my magic ring I'm just uh, crossing it over, pulling my working yarn up through and chain one. If you're working a chain two, then you're just going to chain two and then work into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to, into the center of your ring, work six single crochet stitches. And then pull your magic ring closed. We're then going to continue working in rounds. For round two, we're going to work in the back loop only of our stitches. So looking at the top of your stitch, you have the loop that is closest to you and the loop that is furthest away. Your back loop is this one that is furthest away. So you're inserting your hook under that back loop only. Into this first stitch, you're going to work two single crochet stitches and you're going to place your stitch marker onto the first stitch. You're then going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So at the end of this round you're going to have a total of seven single crochet stitches. Now the temptation for your work at this point is to turn inward but what we're going to want to do because I want the back loop texture on the outside you're just going to have to keep making sure that you're turning your work so that front side is facing you. Next for round three continue working in the back loop only you're going to work two single crochets into that first stitch. Be sure to replace your stitch marker into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Once again, working in that back loop only.
for round four, work two single crochets into that first stitch. And one single crochet, continuing to work in your back loop only in each stitch all the way around. You're always working in the same direction and we're never joining at the end of each round. At the end of round four, you're going to have nine stitches. For round five, working in the back loop only, work two single crochets into your first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. You will be increasing each round your stitch count by one stitch. So at the end of your round five, you're going to have a total of 10 stitches. You're going to, for rounds six, let me see, all the way through to round 15, you're going to continue working as you have been doing, working two single crochets in the back loop only of your first stitch, and then one single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch all the way around. So you're going to continue to repeat this until round 15, so this is round 6, through to 15. At the end of round 15, you will have a total of 20 stitches and you're going to meet me back here. Once you have worked through to round 15, you'll have a total of 20 stitches down at the bottom. You can remove your stitch marker and you can join with a slip stitch in the first stitch and I'm joining under both loops. You can then fasten off and then go ahead and tuck in that end. So you have your tree. Depending on the shape you want your tree to take, I, uh, I kind of fold it so that my uh, tail where I tucked it in is to one side to kind of give it a little bit of a slanted shape. Here then, if you want to add beads and uh, a hanger for your tree, I just used a little bit of the same type of cotton yarn and thread it through your yarn needle and because of the beads I'm using a little bit of a smaller one here so it would fit through and you're then going to insert your yarn needle up through the inside of your Christmas tree and just out through the top of your tree and you just want to pull it through and make sure you leave a little bit of the yarn hanging out down at the bottom. You can then thread your beads onto your yarn. You're going to come up and around and leave a little bit of a loop. And you have to be careful at first not to let this loop go through. And then you're going to thread it back down through your beads. Just make sure when you're pulling it through that you don't pull the loop all the way through. We're going to secure it in a little bit. So 
So all the way through. You're then going to go back down in through the top of your tree once again. And back down through the center. Trying not to catch any of the threads on the inside as you go. There we go. So you're going to pull it through and then bring the two ends down to meet at the bottom. I then recommend just making sure that they are relatively even, like so. Then depending on the length of the hanger you want, if you're adding the beads, I left it a little bit longer than I would typically use. You then want to tuck up inside and just tie a little knot. And trim off your ends. You're then going to pull that up inside your tree and it should hold secure. Then pull your beads down. Then just to secure the beads up at the top, I simply tied a little knot up at the top of the beads so they're not going to slide off. You're then going to take your cinnamon stick and your hot glue gun Put a little bit of glue, hot glue, up at the top of your cinnamon stick and then insert it up into the top of your tree. You want to push it in as high as it can go and just hold it there for a few seconds until the glue has a chance to dry. And that's it. That's all there is to working your cinnamon tree Christmas ornament. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to make a few of these tree, uh, Christmas tree ornaments. I'd love to see them hanging on your own tree. You can share a picture and be sure to tag Rich Textures Crochet. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.